Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset a Cisco switch. Um, so I've got, so I've got a switch, it's got you know a basic configuration on it, it's got some VLANs, my IP address is configured, and I want to completely wipe it. Um, I want to redeploy this switch to another, you know, just give an example. I've, I've got a switch here, it's in production. I want to wipe it and redeploy it um, for some other use. So I want to start completely fresh. So let me show you a picture. So what you'll need to do, you'll need to have console access to the switch. Um, so this, the switch will have a console port. Sometimes they're on the front, sometimes on the, on the back. Uh, it just depends on the switch. Um, and these steps will work for um, a router too. So you need physical access and you need to have console access into the, into the switch. Uh, I'm using PuTTY to, to gain um, uh, console access. So once you have console access, you need to power off the switch. And then what you're going to do is find the mode button. And this is typically on the front of the switch on the left, very left side. And you know, the buttons will look a little different. Sometimes they're kind of, they're really small on like 48 port switches and different models but it should be located on the front left. So you're gonna power off the switch, you're gonna hold this mode button down and turn the switch on. And you're gonna wait for the switch to say the password recovery mechanism is enabled. Uh, once you see that, release it, and that will interrupt the boot process, which will allow, us, allow you to access some commands to factory reset it. So let me walk through that with my switch here and I'm using a, a 2960 CX switch and again I've done these steps on various models of switches and the steps are the same okay you can see that my switch is booting up I've got the mode button down and this this time will vary um, some switches it could be just a few seconds like mine, it takes about a minute because it goes through and checks memory and does all kinds of stuff here. Um, it just it just varies on each model. But just hold that button down until you see uh, the password recovery mechanism is enabled. Release it. Okay, there it's popped up. Password recovery mechanism. I'll release the mode button, and you'll see that interrupted the boot process. So now. We can type in the command flash underscore init. And this could take 30 seconds or longer to initialize the flash. Okay, uh, the flash is done initializing. So now type in dir flash colon. And you don't have to do this step, but I just wanted to show you the files on the uh, flash. So the files that you're going to be deleting is config.txt and vlan.dat. So deleting these two files and then rebooting is going to factory reset the switch. Um, those are the only two files you need to delete. Um, don't delete these files. I mean, those are, these are your operating system. Of the switch so definitely don't delete those so to delete these files just do del space flash colon and then the file name so we'll do config.txt hit enter yes to confirm now we will do the vlan.dat file Yes to confirm. Those files are deleted. We do a flash dir again. You'll see that those files are gone. So now all you need to do is type boot. And this will reboot the switch. And it's gonna have no configuration, so you're gonna get the um the, the system configuration dialog. This process will take a a little bit, so I'll pause this and you'll see when it comes up that it's completely wiped and it starts 
it starts up with the uh, initial configuration dialog. Okay, the switch is, is done booting up. And you can see it's gonna enter the initial uh, configuration dialog. Uh, I'm not a big fan of using that. I like to do everything manually, but just to show you, The switch is completely wiped, and you can see no configuration on the switch now. I do a show VLAN brief. It's just going to have the default VLANs. All those VLANs I had on there before are now gone, and the default VLAN VLAN one is just on there. So those are the steps. Pretty. Pretty simple to do. Um, the timing just is a little different on various models of switches, but <clears throat> um, this is something you'll probably do often um, as you reconfigure switches or buy used switches. Um, you even may have to do this if you forget the password. Um, you'll have to console in the switch and completely wipe it and start over. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, for more uh, tutorials and tips on Cisco, check out my website, netlinko.com. Thanks for watching.